Thing. Order! Oh, order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! The government is pulling the UK out of a deal which allows some foreign countries to fish in British waters, saying it needs to wipe the slate clean ahead of leaving the EU. But Greenpeace criticised the decision, saying it won't help fishermen now, and one trawlerman told Sky News it's a crying shame what's happened to his industry over more than 20 years. Our correspondent Mike McCarthy reports from Grimsby, once the world's biggest fishing port. The Grimsby trawler Sweet Waters returns from an all-night catch in the North Sea. These days, the skipper focuses on shellfish, saying that EU quotas have all but ruined the industry in Britain. I think it's been a crying shame. You know, we haven't had any help off anybody. All they've done is pressurised us, pressurised us, got rid of a lot of people. They have. See, in the age of, you know, the last 10 years, we've had a lot of people at the age of about 60. So if you get more pressure and you have to do more paperwork and there's more rules and regulations, obviously you say, I've had enough. EU quotas form only part of the agreements governing fishing in British waters. The London Fisheries Convention was signed in 1964, almost a decade before Britain joined what is now the European Union. It allows trawlers from Ireland, the Netherlands, France, Germany and Belgium to fish within 6 to 12 nautical miles of our coastline and for our vessels to do the same in their waters. It sits alongside the EU's common fisheries policy where all European members can fish between 12 and 200 miles of the UK. Ministers say that ditching the London Convention paves the way for more sweeping reforms. This is important to give us the legal clarity. Uh, we're absolutely clear that when we leave the EU, we leave the common fisheries policy and we will take control for managing fisheries resources in our own waters. That's right out to 200 nautical miles or the halfway point, the median line. And it's very important, therefore, that we left this uh, particular convention to deliver that clarity so that we can negotiate again from first principles. Although the government says the measure puts the UK back in control of its own coastline, others disagree. The Irish government has already described the move as unwelcome and unhelpful. Environmental campaigners have joined in the criticism. The government has had the, the power to reform the fisheries sector for quite a long time and it hasn't been taking it. It's been pointing the finger at Brussels, at mechanisms like the London Convention for its failure to act. A Greenpeace investigation last year revealed that uh, just three companies control, more than two, uh, control nearly two-thirds of all quota in English waters. And, you know, that's stuff that, that Westminster could have been sorting out already and could still sort out before the next two years is out. The glory days when the town of Grimsby laid claim to the title of the world's largest fishing port are long gone. Some have described the government's latest measure as an aggressive negotiating tactic that is bound to backfire. Others believe that it could herald the start of a renaissance for the troubled British fishing industry. Mike McCarthy, Sky News, Grimsby. The government has announced that it's withdrawing from a 50-year-old convention that allows some other countries to fish close to the UK coastline. It says the move will help Britain determine its own fishing policy. But the European Commission says that the convention no longer exists in law. Here's our business correspondent, Joe Lynham. A fortnight after the formal Brexit talks started, there's a new front in the negotiations, and it's fish. The UK is quitting a 53-year-old convention which allowed countries like France and Belgium to fish right up to the British coastline. We are giving notice that we intend to quit that. It's a provision in the agreement that enables us to do that with a two-year notice period. And this is important to give us the legal clarity. Uh, we're absolutely clear that when we leave the EU, we leave the common fisheries policy, and we will take control for managing fisheries resources in our own waters. That's right out to 200 nautical miles or the halfway point, the median line. So what is the London Fisheries Convention? Well, at the moment, trawlers from France, Belgium, Netherlands, Germany and Ireland can fish to within six nautical miles of the British coastline. 
Boats from these countries catch 10,000 tonnes of fish in this area a year. But that's a tiny fraction of the more than 700,000 tonnes a year caught by British fishermen. Almost all of that fish is caught in the much wider 200 nautical miles around the UK coast. But the decision has angered the Irish government, which has the only land border with Britain. Its fisheries minister described the move as unwelcome and unhelpful. And scrapping the convention could also be meaningless. The EU Commission said today that the London Convention had been superseded by EU rules covered by the common fisheries policy. But fishermen welcomed the action. What it does is, is make a strong commitment to uh, achieving sovereignty over our, to taking sovereignty over our waters, which international law uh, states is ours at the moment of Brexit. And, and, and this is, is, is just another statement of intent uh, that, that, that that will be what happens. So some welcome the government taking back control. Others may view fisheries as a tiny part of Britain's economy to be used as a bargaining chip in the frosty relations between Britain and the EU. Joe Lynham, BBC News. I've been